how much tricks everyone. It is some one of the days in the week how we're doing. Guess what we're making today? Spaghetti carbonara. Don't ask me how you make it. We're going to find out as we go along. So you will learn as I learn because I don't know how to bloody make it. What I do know, it involves spaghetti. It's kind of like a main ingredient, spaghetti carbonara. It's not just called carbonara, so you need spaghetti. I messed up. I bought, let me walk in that brightness. I bought tagliatelle. Well, it's not called tagliatelle carbonara, is it? So I made one trip to get this, sat down, thought I'd have a coffee before making dinner. All to be told, you can't use this, you need spaghetti. So I made a second trip to go get the spaghetti. And I said, Well, you just in here 10 minutes ago. I was like, Yeah. I said, I bought the wrong spaghetti. He said, I'll see you in another 10 minutes then. I said, You bloody won't, mate. And we need some carbonara sauce. Just test goes out. Got three jars this because it's got around four people. And it's a fairly small jar to be fair. You also need some chicken, chicken breasts, and some bacon. So, by all accounts, we need to cut up the chicken and bacon and fry it off. So let's get chopping. So you want to chop up your chicken into cubes or into small pieces. I do cubes, ideally. Tell you what, doing all this cooking and on these, on my games, doing the makeup and whatnot, it's great for being able to just catch up on TV shows. I mean, back in the day, if I'd done this, if we'd done this channel like, what, 10 years ago? Something like that? What the hell could I have watched? Sod all, apart from paint dry for been painting. Back in the day, well, you only had like five channels, didn't you, when I was a kid? Well, four channels when I was growing up, and then when I was like a teenager, channel five came out. But now, I've like gone here, on this phone right there, we have uh, Netflix, we've got Amazon Prime, the app, we've got Now, uh, yeah, now TV, that's what I'm watching at the minute. Just in the middle of watching a show called Four Life. It's alright, you know, a bit cheesy, not very believable. It's about this bloke. You, you can't see what this, uh, this black bloke here. He used, he's an English actor. He was in a program called Top Boy back in the day. And he's in prison for, uh, wrongfully. And whilst he's in prison, he gets like his um, degree or whatever you'd call it to be like a lawyer and fight his own case. But whilst he's in there, he fights like other inmates' cases in the courts and gets them off. Uh, if he can do, like getting lighter sentences or released altogether. Like I said, not very, it's based on a true story, I think, or at least a book. It says at the beginning it's based on a book, but I'm not sure if that's a true story or not. It's pretty good though. Just something to have on in the background whilst cooking away. I'm also in the middle of watching Cobra Kai, which is like a series about the Karate Kid. I grew up watching the Cry Kid back in the day. So I find it quite um what's the word? When you like go back to your roots of being a kid. Um I can't bloody remember. Nostalgic, that's the one. It's quite nostalgic. But Amy is a bit of a pest because if I'm watching something on the TV and she gets into it, like she'll start watching it, and she's like, ooh, this is actually quite good, isn't it? She'll then let me watch it with you. Like, I, you've missed like the first four episodes. Don't matter. I like it. Let me watch it with you. Wait till you want time around to watch the next episode after the grass. So I recently watched The Serpent. Have you seen that on ITV or BBC One? That is amazing. It's crazy. It's a true story. This bloke and his missus go around like uh, Thailand, I think it was, or something like that. Just killing tourists. She didn't know there was a killing him, apparently. But he was like killing them and stealing all the valuables and uh, stealing their identity. Makes me think twice about going bloody backpacking, that's just something. And I watched The Bay. The Bay was cool. It's set where I'm from, which is Morecambe. So if you're not from England, you can still get it because Liz, who's from America, on our channel. She watched The Bay, series one and two. Yeah, it's all set all around where I'm from, so I like watching that. Um, 
What else have we been watching? Finding Alice. I started to watch Finding Alice, then I said I want to watch that, so I've not watched more than five minutes of that yet. Right then, chicken is chopped up. Choppy, choppy, choppy. It's fair to say I get a fair amount of chicken out of one bag. Go on. If you cut it all smaller, look, you get an absolute stack of chicken breast. Okay, okay, everyone. So, your bacon, you want to cut it up into small cubes, apparently, from what I've said. You try to frost some bacon and cut that into small cubes, it is next to impossible. I think you've got a really crappy line as well, there, guys. That is bacon, by the way. Not that you can really see it. So, you've got to fry this off, anyways. So, you've got bacon bits. Like I said, it was next to impossible to get this to break apart because it's frow it come out of the freezer, so I defrosted it. And compared to consider me like ten rashes of bacon here, it really don't look like it. Oh well. We'll work with what we got. A little chicken cooking free back here in the back room. Okay, so we have the bacon bits. We can break these up in small bits as and when we go. This just goes on top of your carbonara. I am coming through and said, look, there's way more bacon there. Go and cook it up. So, like there's some more bacon left over, so I'll just lop this off the, uh, cut the fat off. Got a little bit more going on. Chicken is cooked through, we have the sauce now. Put a pan of water on for the spaghetti. Let that on the go. Let's catch up in a minute. There we go, adding the carbonara sauce to the chicken. And then leave this to cook through for about, I don't know, 10 minutes on a low heat. The stack in there will uh, get that out in a sec. Add a bit of water to the jar to get the rest of that out. Yeah, I reckon we need about three jars of this. Because there's going to be four people eating. There's only a small jar, like I said, so three jars lighter. That should be good to go. Okay, so the spaghetti is nearly done. The spaghetti manetti. Tony tomato and spaghetti manetti. I don't know the friggin' one about here, guys. <laughs> yeah, the spaghetti's never done, anyways. Chicken, it's gonna heat that fruit. Chicken and the carbonara sauce. Oh, yeah. Love the chicken. Let's heat that fruit. Uh, let the bacon bits heal, which we're gonna top it. And in the oven, we have a garlic bread. Woohoo! 